Let's see if we're Cain Syrian. If you're not a Cain Syrian, take this for your fourth house. Reach out for one on one reading. Like, share, follow, comment, subscribe. I have tarot courses available if you're interested in learning professionally how to earn income with tarot. Um, catch me on the live stream at Running Gun Tarot on YouTube. Buy me a cup of coffee. I'll read your cards live there. Pretty great to enjoy living life as possible. Messages for Cain Syrian and or fourth house cross. Queen of Pentacles, this is worth, this is value, okay? Sees eye to eye with manifestation, grounding this energy. And or if it is secular, if it is, if it is characters in your life, this is channeling Capricorn Sagittarius for the Queen of Pentacles or a Capricorn Aquarius here. Emphasis on the Capricorn energy. This is 10th house career. It's a diametric opposite masculine energy to your 4th house and or Cancerian. So it's the divine feminine meets of a different ilk or a different suit, the divine masculine. Okay, what's, what's here? What is this? Spirit? One wields the sword, one wields the flower, the fruit. Okay. Five of heart in the reverse is emotionally solo. So this feels maybe like an odd couple or a mismatched pair. Okay, something that is provoking overthought, over worry here. Remember, we're swerving that energy though. We've been there, we've done that. We're not working with that. We're not allowing it to interfere. Double two of swords in the upright. This is decision making, right? We're not allowing these things to interfere with our decision process. It feels like one more one person is more of a romantic, more of a go with the flow. And they could be tag teaming. These could be aspects within yourself, right? This is how do I leverage all of this kind of like supercomputer mental capacity energy here for my like gift shop, my flower shop, my romance, my what have you. Because one feels very much so almost like bougie worth value energy. But if these are aspects within you, you are channeling assertive, concise decision-making with the King of Sword in the upright, and high quality, high value with the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. If these are characters outside of yourself, you or another person, these are the values that you're bringing to the table. What we do know is that no matter what, you don't want to have fear influence your decision-making, even if it's fear of betrayal here with the Ten of Swords being featured here, even if it's fear of heartbreak. Right? You don't want to operate out of fear. Someone might be tuning into someone that is not just a match for them. There is a match for the Queen of Pentacles. So you want to make sure that you're not denying yourself of that authentic match. The King of Pentacles, Aries Taurus, fits well with Queen of Pentacles, Sagittarius Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles, for some reason, is giving attention to King of Swords. You want to redirect that attention. The king, I would say, ideally, should be conversing with the king, if that makes sense. Anything else here, Spirit? Stability. It's almost as if this ensures stability if you are with your own kind, you are with your own ilk. I don't mean gender. I don't mean race. It feels more so just like the, the energetic harmony bodies of the, of the tarot. Okay. Investing emotionally here. King of Wands. See, we have like similar people investing into the people that almost are actually for you or are on your dharmic path as opposed to karmics. Okay. So for some reason that's being pointed out not to invest in the karmics, not to invest in the people necessarily that feel like mixing like your energies are water and oil mixing, okay? A lot of characters are coming through in these readings. It almost feels like just some sort of like commerce, commiseration here. Anything that we need to know overall about this spirit? Cordiality, formality, respect seems to be key. Okay, something's going to help facilitate coming out of worry here. Ace of Pentacles in the upright. It's going to put you back on top, or at least remind you to realize being on top is a choice, right? 
It's almost like an energetic choice that we try to help conjure and facilitate. Emotional stability and consistency, right? Remember that eight of heart is a choice, picking from the field what I want to feel and think about and focus on. And when you focus on, you grow. And that bridges the next step, which ends up creating the manifestation reality experience in this hologram of experiential living that we that we live. Alright, reach out for more tools on overhaul movies.